working with releases in application lifecycle management. Application lifecycle management features a system for organizing and tracking application releases, enabling you to align your business priorities and quality expectations with your project requirements, tests, and defects. Application lifecycle management helps you make more informed release decisions with real-time key performance indicators. Now let us look at the application lifecycle roadmap. The testing process begins with defining releases in the management module, then specifying requirements, planning tests, executing tests, and tracking defects. For now, we are going to focus on working with releases. The testing process begins with defining releases in the management module. This module is used to align business priorities and quality expectations of the business with project requirements, tests, and defects. So now, what is a release? A release represents changes in an application that is ready for distribution to stakeholders. A version of an application in application lifecycle management is called a release. Also, a release is developed within a specified time and it goes through a series of testing cycles. Here is a sample of a release. As you can see, in this certain release there are changes underneath it, also bug fixes, anything that has changed. We have encountered the word cycle earlier. So what is a cycle? A testing cycle in application lifecycle management is simply called as a cycle. And each cycle has a specific purpose. Here's an example of a cycle. As you can see, these cycles have specific purposes. One can test for new features, for instance, integration testing, performance testing, user acceptance testing, and it depends on the application what cycles are going to be needed. Notes on releases and cycles. All duration of cycles must be within the releases start and end dates. Cycles can be independent of one another. Cycles can overlap. It depends on the requirements of the organization reg regarding the number of cycles needed for a release. Next is the release tree. Testing begins by defining releases in the management module of application lifecycle management as mentioned earlier. A release tree is a hierarchical structure that is used to model upcoming releases of an application. The releases folder is the root of the release tree and thus it cannot be deleted. It doesn't make sense if it can be deleted though. <laughs> the releases folder can be renamed however. It provides some flexibility and identification. What are the tools for creating a release tree? Oh, before that, let's let's see a release tree sample. As you can see, the root is the releases folder, as mentioned earlier. Under it is a release folder, and under the release folder is a certain release and then under the release are cycles so what are the tools for creating a release tree new release folder new release and new cycle specifying cycle details after adding a cycle to a release, you specify the details for the cycle using the Details tab. 
The details include the start date and date and the brief description of the cycle. To specify details for a cycle, select the cycle where you want to add the details from the release tree. The details page of the selected cycle appears in the right pane of the management module. Set the date on which the cycle starts in the start date field. Set the date on, the si on which the cycle ends in the end date field. Type a description of the expected objective for the cycle. Specifying cycle details can help in informing other testers regarding a cycle. So it's important to add one. Next is attach attachments. Adding attachments to a cycle. Attachments can be added to a cycle. This can help developers. For example, a spreadsheet can is used to plan the time and resource estimates for a release. This spreadsheet can be attached to a to a cycle for time tracking. To add an attachment to a cycle, click the attachments tab. It's beside the details tab earlier. In the right pane of the management module, click the button that corresponds to the type of attachment from the toolbar on the attachments page. So what are the types of attachments that can be attached? First is a file. Attaches spreadsheets, documents, reports, reports, or other types of files. Next is a URL. References any valid URL scheme. Next is a snapshot. Takes a snapshot and saves it as a JPG file, JPEG file. Next is System Info, captures and attaches information about the computer. Next is Clipboard, saves and attaches images from the clipboard. You know, clipboard is the place where you find copy-pasted items. Assigning Requirements releases and cycles. We have defined the requirements and cycles in the management module. The next step is to assign requirements to a release or to a cycle. Requirements are used to define what needs to be tested in an application. The requirements are the basis for identifying and creating tests later in the test planning phase. The requirement that was assigned is automatically assigned to a release. However, assigning a requirement to a release does not automatically assign it to all cycles in the release. This offers the testers flexibility in assigning requirements to cycles. Assigning requirements and to releases and cycles allow generation of graphs and reports to show the quality and progress of a release and the requirements coverage by cycle. Next is assigning tests to cycles. A test set folder in the test lab module contains the tests that are covered by the requirements. For now, we don't have to worry about this as we're just talking about releases. But let's discuss this anyway. Test set folders are assigned to a cycle to review the progress of the tests in the management module, determine the number of resolved, resolved and outstanding defects at a release or a cycle level, and enhance the granularity of reporting for the test set folders. For now, we'll end on this. We'll discuss other aspects of application lifecycle management management in future videos. Thank you for watching and bye for now.